now uh, now I'm, I'm going to, we are going to see how to see the analytics for your course in the analytics you can see the enrollment and assignment details of students now we are going to see how to use this analytics tab first log in with your course admin id then you will be in the course dashboard uh, already you are familiar with the course dashboard i think you may have start working on it so in this here there is a tab analytics go to the tab when you click this analytics tab you will be able to see the labels on students student progress and enrollment assessment details here uh, since it is a old course we have run the analytics already if you are on a new course you will be seeing this tabs alone labels on student student progress and enrollment assessment for this you have to update the statistics you can either update all statistics or you can update the statistics whichever you want just give update statistics when you are giving the update statistics you will be seeing that statistics is running now uh, you can see a tab cancer statistic calculation it will take some time to calculate the statistics uh, when it get updated you will be seeing the graph whichever we which is we have been seen before in the enrollment assess assessment details you can able to see the enrollment details of students how many of them have enrolled previously and currently and total enrollment status for this course there is 3612 and once you have opened the assignments you will be able to see in this details this is the assignment id which will be displayed on the top of the assignment in your course uh, this will be the number of students completed the assignment this will be the average score of the students which is displayed here Some, after running the anal analytics after some time you can refresh the page you will be ca getting these details uh, in the student progress you can able to see the uh, completed status of assignment here you can see 567 members has completed assignment uh, assignment 1 that is the assignment id is 10 you can see that in this graph assignment 1 uh, 567 members have been completed for every assignment this will be showing your statistics this will be helpful for you for units it will be displayed in this color and for assignments it will be in blue color you can see the numbers here and enrollment numbers in this tab uh, from the first students tab you will be able to get all these details secondly the watch time uh, the watch time is here in this assignment uh, in this course uh, you can click this watch time you will be able to see this page here you can select the select the lessons in this drop down uh, there are three lessons uh, i am selecting the first lesson basics you will be seeing this statistics uh, this uh, x axis displays the seconds and y axis y axis displays the number of students watching each, each seconds here you can see In 600 second of the first video in this lesson uh, 594 students have watched this up to 600 uh, you can see the statistics is going lesser and lesser this will be able to uh, analyze you why the uh, students are not watching the video how many of them are watching how many seconds they are watching you can see that uh, in, in this blue color line it is increasing and uh, at the end it is decreasing you can able to see the watch time and you can analyze uh, why the students are uh, not watching the video after 600 why it is uh, uh, is it a any problem it will be useful for you to get the statistics then in the questions uh, when you go to this questions tab you will be able to get this page here you can see all the questions whichever you have created in the assignments uh, 
the average score of assignments how many of them uh, attend attempted that questions in the assignment in the assignment in question number one is attempted by 159 students average score of this uh, this is 0 0.92 for this questions uh, and you can see how many of them pick the choice one choice two or choice three how many of them have picked uh, if it is a uh, choice one is a wrong answer if more than um, 200 students or 300 students have selected choice one you can analyze why they are selecting uh, wrong choice more number of students are selecting wrong, wrong choice so you can be able to guide them regarding this so it will be useful for you it will give the give all the details for each and every question whichever you have created in the assignments you can also have a look at all the tabs in the analytics and uh, they are under developing stage some may work and some may not so please have a look at all the tabs these three tabs which i have explained here will be useful for you